Discovery Plus, the 60,000 episodes and all my favorite genres. What else would I be watching? There's something for everyone on Discovery Plus. Stream now. I'm gonna be working on the rest of my elements, like a silhouette of a tree, a full moon shining in the background. All right, so it's time to do the silhouettes, and then I start painting the witches, witches with style. The detail brushes are gonna help me to define those little lines. There's just these tiny little witches, and all of them, they are either carrying a torch or a little lantern. Oh boy. When you're working with a silhouette, if you, if you misplace a stroke, if you do something wrong, it's gonna be noticeable. Next, for these witches to go up, I need to create a path. So if I put a little bit of white foot coloring, you'll be able to see the reflection of the light from the moon. And then your brain is like, oh, those are stairs. And there's a path. It's just the little details that are going to sell this cookie. Daniel, what a fabulous color. What do you call this color? This is my like midnight blue spooky night color. That's going to be my background, and then my figures will be pipe fertilizing. I want this sky to really show that it's the scary time of night, so my background is a pretty dark navy blue. But I also have a habit of oversaturating the colors. I'm worried that this color has gone a little bit too dark. So I'm going to add white food coloring and give a splatter effect of stars, and hopefully that gives it a little bit more contrast with my silhouettes. I'm hoping this texture background doubles as texture for the moon. I start to pipe my headless horseman. I like to make my roller icing pretty thick because a thicker icing will hold its shape when I pipe it. I want to make sure he's got some jagged edges of his cape. <sighs> my icing is a little bit too thick. My tree is not really coming out how I want. It looks like a big blob. I don't have time to go in and scrape this all and start over, so now I just have to accept that this is a little bit too thick and go with it. I'm just going to do this and hope for the best. Oh, that's not good. I hit the button on the airbrush machine and I get a big shootout and it's a big blob of black in my glittery sky. <sighs> Before I fix it, I start with my tree and I put in scary eyes and like a scary mouth. Working on fixing my airbrush mistake, I'm going to try to cover it up. My biggest goal right now is to make it to the second round. So I decide to add a Halloween how right on top of this big huge blob in the middle of my cookie. I'm hoping it is enough. Now I have the window outlines. I am making a witch silhouette and she has coffin shaped windows. And I'm going to create a brick texture for more Victorian house vibes. And at that point, it's time for the most important part. I am starting the kitchen witch silhouette. My witch has her hat and her face and her dress and I add bubbles in the cauldron because something's boiling in there. So really confident right now. Let's start these transfers. These are the transfers for the pumpkin patch. I need to make some skulls that are going to be part of the frame of my cookie and the pumpkins that are going to be part of the pumpkin patch. And tombstone. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. There you go. I really think that the three D elements of this cookie are going to push me to the second round. I'm hoping Roseanne goes like, whoa, look at me, this is awesome. I'm just trying to bring some color to it. Now it's time to give this cookie a little character, like cute little bats. And then of course, my little orange pumpkins in the front. Oh my gosh, you're using a lot of colors. Yes. What are you working on right now? I'm trying to make a cute little ghost who's flying up out of the house. <laughs> I like that. Cookie makers, you have 10 minutes remaining. <sighs> yes. All right, here we go. I'm 
move on to my clean victim. Hair flowing as she's running away. I want to get movement with the silhouette. A lot of this could be it's so dark and so static. I want it to make sure that she looks like she's running. Time to go in and do my pumpkin. In this kind of dark, spooky cookie, I want the pumpkin to be the first thing that your eye is drawn to. So I'm going for a bright orange, bright yellow eyes. He is holding his jack-o'-lantern head, looking out into the Halloween night. I need to put all my pumpkins. I think that's it. Now I have to go to the main problem I have to deal with, which is the huge crack in the middle of that cookie. So my brain starts working, and I'm lying, take advantage of that crack and turn it into a tree. So I make just a few lines going up, and then follow the crack just to the side, and maybe some branches. I'm really hoping the judges are not going to notice, but I think everything is looking good. Oh yeah! Cookie makers, 90 seconds! <sighs> Come on, you got this! I want to add a little spooky eye peeking out of the notch of the street to give a little bit more color. That looks good. I'm adding a little glitter to the cookie. I'm super happy with the way these colors are popping on this cookie. The final details on this cookie are just adding fun, cute swirls around the frame of the windows, and you're seeing the bats swirling around the building. It doesn't even stay on the edge, it kind of hangs off the edge. If I move a little bit more than I stood, this cookie's got to break. 10 seconds! Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, what? I think it's done. This is crazy. I got this. That's it, cookie makers. Now that I finished my cookie, I'm immediately concerned that I went too dark. I'm really hoping my, my flavor pulls me through to the next round. just a few people, leaving that behind. We believe beauty is a powerful collective of dreamers and doers, makers and believers. Beauty isn't just what we put on. It's what we put out into the world. So until everyone sees beauty for all that it is and all that it can be, we won't stop moving beauty forward. Home to beauty, the possibilities are beautiful. Start your day with Philips Sonicare. Start it with expertise, then with the total confidence that you've done everything for your health. Start with complete care with Philips Sonicare, so you will always get it right. Philips. Dear comic book hero, I get now why you wear a jumpsuit. It's like putting on armor made of cotton and I feel instantly powerful. And with great power comes hot fashion abilities. Cotton, and the fabric of readers to wear an alter ego. Get ready, daddy world. Did you hear that, Jimmy? It's the sound of your sandpaper skin shredding the sheets. You need Jergen's Ultra Healing Lotion. Much softer. Now, if only I could soften the snoring. I snore. And Double Butter Besties, Shea Cocoa Butter Moisturizer, Jergen's. Here's Liz, whose bladder leaks drop in uninvited. But instead of period pads, she brought Poise Ultra Thin. So she can bounce on with clean, dry, fresh protection from Poise. When it comes to the long haul, we're thinking of every mile. The all-electric Hyundai Ionic 5. It's your journey. What will you do? What will you change? Will you make something better? Will you create something entirely new? Our Dell Technologies advisors provide you with the tools and expertise you need to do incredible things. Because we believe there's an innovator in all of us. At Chipotle, our garlic guajillo recipe brings a whole new dimension to steak. Our most tender cuts, pan seasoned and grilled fresh, mixed with garlic and guajillo peppers, finished with fresh lime and cilantro. All new garlic guajillo steak. It's a whole new dimension of flavor. At Coordinated Care, we get you. With our Apple Health Medicaid, we get you a large network of doctors and pediatricians, so you can get the care you need close to home. We get you rewards for completing healthy activities, like going to the doctor, 